It took me a while to make this video, not because of the subject matter so much as it was about my father's favorite food. He loved cow foot and if you're fortunate to have loved your father, respected your father, saw him as the quintessential human being, admired him above and beyond all other people, then you can begin to appreciate the difficulty in accepting his demise. He died in 2007. As for the food itself, I think food is culture and culture is food. In China, for example, food can be cicada, scorpion, starfish, or dog. Food can be corn, smut, grasshoppers, and beetles. Food from Indonesia, for example, can be bats, and in Taiwan, it may be rooster balls. In the Far East, food can be roasted rat, cat adobo, mudfish, fried frogs, lizard eggs, plus other things that would make you think long and hard about what you eat. Cowfoot is a delicacy of Jamaica. It is about $1.99 per pound, which makes it a very economical dish. And this is Microdac's way of making cowfoot. These are the steps. Have your butcher take off all the hair from the cow foot and cut it up in pieces that are easy to handle. Then you want to wash the cow foot well in vinegar and water. Make your seasoning and season well. In my case, I seasoned with garlic, pimento, thyme, ginger, scallion, salt and pepper. I also added soya sauce and Caribbean meat seasoning, which you can get in any ethnic store, really. Mmm boy, it's, you should smell this thing. It smells so good when there's a mixture of all these seasoning. Rub it all well and good into the cow foot itself. In other words, really massage that cow foot with the seasoning. And then allow it to marinate for no less than an hour. Then, I cooked it all in a pressure cooker for about 20 minutes. After adding, of course, just enough water to cover it all. What you want to do is you want to allow the pressure cooker to cool. By the way, you should know how to use a pressure cooker before you actually use a pressure cooker. Okay? And then, once it's cooled, you can either use the same pot or use another pot if you wish. And then add enough liquid that you need. I would suggest you add beef stock if you have it. If you don't, then just add water. I then added carrots, green pepper, and hot pepper. Oh yeah, the scotch bonnet pepper itself about three slices. Do keep in mind that scotch bonnet pepper is a very hot pepper. I also added broad beans, which some people call butter beans. And then after the broad beans, I added a mixture of one teaspoon of cornstarch in three tablespoons of cold water. Mix it up well and then add it to my pot. Then I brought up the heat, have it boil and then lowered it again and then allowed it to simmer for about 30 minutes or so until the carrots and beans are tender, really. Once it's cooked, of course, what you want to do is to separate the bones and then discard all the bones. Then serve it all on top of rice. See, I told you it was all very simple and it was very delicious. If you have never tried cow foot before and if you have the courage and the nerve, I think you should try it. I think you will like it as a matter of fact. It's sort of gooey and sticky and a lot of fun to eat it with hot white rice.